Morning, Jack. Morning, Jack. How we doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. What's the agenda for today? So agenda today, we got majority of the pond shaped out. Still got to do a little bit up in the stream area. Then we're gonna do a heavy duty fabric, liner fabric. Hopefully get these two stone sets so we can start our wall. Just start kind of making our way through the pond. So it should be a great day. It's Friday and I'm excited. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. So right now, it's only Jack and I, but we have Chris and Udi coming out here today, and maybe Brian. Brian's gonna try to move some things around and come out here and help us on this job, so hopefully we're gonna make some good progress today. So right now, we're just gonna kinda go through, do some tedious things, and that way when Chris and Udi show up, we can throw this fabric and liner in, and then we are gonna be able to start scent some rock today. It's Friday, woo -hoo. Well, that man right there, and this guy behind the camera just uh, installed the 25 by 25 piece of liner. It definitely helps having a lot of people out here, but we managed to get in here with the two of us in kind of a quick time what do you think jack less than five minutes I yeah mean, from the time we rolled it out cut it and placed it in here i mean it was like five ten minutes i mean and we're not over exaggerating it we kind of played it smart and it's kind of bulky so we used a dingo to kind of shuffle it over here and then strapped it up and then placed it inside with the excavator and then we were able to unfold it before that we actually unfolded it up on the grass out there and that way we got it to where we wanted it to be at so that way it would make our lives easier in the hole unfolding this liner so right now we're gonna come in here we're gonna install our faceplate on the skimmer get that done and then throw some fabric in get our chips in our trough for our wall and then we're gonna set our frame rocks for our wall so we're rocking and rolling so far right jack oh yeah i think it's friday we got a little more progress but uh we definitely came into some issues just a lot of back and forth trying to figure out the distance and radius of the patio that was going in for the fire pit so just a lot of going up on the deck and seeing that radius just so the chunk of the wall we're doing isn't out of place and the pavers on top of it match nicely and we still get that nice round look rather than it kind of jutting out so a little tedious and a lot of playing with the rock and it wasn't the easiest access bringing all the pallets down so uh, i am pleased with what we did get done for just two guys jack and i the liner just the two of us it was big skimmer four rock set and just a lot of pallets moving so overall happy with what we did and uh we'll get after it on monday yeah jack said it great we came in here and we were able to knock out kind of a decent amount of work for just like the two of us we thought it was gonna be the four of us but chris and udi had another fix it that they had to take care of which is no big deal we were able to make do with what we had i mean everything that you guys see right here is what we got done today so we we're able to get that wall started and then that way we're going to come in here on monday set another rock there jack's going to finish up cutting around that wall and rocks in that area so that way that can get done and then we were able to set all these rocks in here and then this big guy over here and while he was doing that i was over here kind of staging our material and as you guys can tell we are slowly uh, destroying this yard which unfortunately with this big of a pond and one way in one way out you're going to kind of destroy the yard especially with the access but yeah it's turning out great really looking forward to monday and what is to come hopefully on uh, monday we're gonna have a full crew out here and we'll be able to knock some things out. So it's Friday for us. We're gonna have a good time and hopefully you guys have a great weekend. It's supposed to be 70 all weekend. So I know Jack has a lot of plans outside. Oh yeah. <laughs> It looks a little different since the last time we checked in with you. It is currently 10 o'clock on Monday morning. We have a full crowd here and we are making really good headway. We got our wall done over here. Jack and the guys did an amazing job out here. I mean, look at all this. It just looks awesome. How well we uh, incorporated the wall inside this patio. And don't forget that we're gonna do a three inch cap on top of this. So patio height is gonna be right here. So it's gonna look really cool having this rock framing the patio out and that rock over there framing that the patio out. So it has turned out great. We're just working on from the skimmer, working our way out, getting everything buttoned up and throwing lights in. That's what Jack's doing right now. But yeah, we have a full crowd here. Tomorrow is not looking too good. Looks like we're gonna get rain in the forecast, so we're gonna try to hammer as much away as possible today. That way tomorrow, if we do have a rain day, we're in good shape for Wednesday. So stay tuned and we will see what happens. Be since I crew out here, what would you say, Jack? Yeah, more than I can count, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jack only counts it too anyway, so we will keep you guys updated and stay tuned. Alright, 
so we got our pond rocked in we're just starting to work on our stream area up here so we got both of our frame rocks in we got our waterfall rock in which i will show you guys once we got our overlap and fabric in all up here we're just trying to get all this leveled out that we can continue to move on with this project but we're kind of coming in here we're carving out all this entire area to work on our bridge area and our stream area coming into the pond so this waterfall is roughly a good eight inches from water line so it's gonna be an eight inch drop coming to the to the pond we're still cooking away and seeing what else we can cover today <laughs> guys it is the end of day three or four one of the two i uh, got the pond mostly racked in uh, all the way up to our first set of falls here really liking how this is turning out had a little worries about this area here with it being so vertical and water line on the pond it's right about here so we had different ideas about how we were going to retain the soil and overall i think just landslides and some rock standing vertically like that was the best choice so hopefully tomorrow we'll get up into our bio falls and stream area with this bridge coming over as you can see stuff is tarped off because we are expecting a big weather front tomorrow so Fingers crossed it holds off, but skies aren't looking too promising. So maybe we'll be back out here on Wednesday and uh, stick around for that. guys we are out here in the morning uh, i know yesterday i talked about how we're possibly going to be getting some rain and as you guys can tell it's a little dark and gloomy out here we're gonna try to get as much work as we possibly can get done today well i know we have maybe two hours or so that we can be out here until it really starts raining but it keeps getting pushed back so fingers crossed that the rain does get held back pretty far and we can kind of get at least a few rocks set today it'd be nice to kind of get this bridge piece set and the rocks in front of the bridge done so that way we can keep moving forward and then we'll be in good shape for the rest of the week to finish up the water falls in the berm area so we're gonna get to it let's get going It is Wednesday. We actually started last Wednesday, so day six. We had to call it a quits around 10 o'clock yesterday. It just started downpouring. I mean, you could see all the puddles and everything like that. It's all, it was all filled up with water here. We had everything tarped, but we're going to make do with what we have today. We have a wide variety of rocks to uh, pick from for the rest of this stream area, and then we're going to be rocking and rolling. We just got to get this bridge set. As soon as we get this bridge set, we'll be able to frame it out with our rocks and then get into our waterfalls and then slowly work our way into the retaining wall. So we got a lot of things going on. We got to get that done today. We're going to fill the pond up. Him right now is rinsing down everything to make sure this pond's nice and clean. Jack's doing some final touch-ups in the waterfall area, just kind of buttoning up things, moving lights around. So, so we have Nick, Chris Felder, Jack, Danley, Tim, myself, and then Chris Hansen. So and Brian's going to be uh, coming by too today. So we have a full team out here. So let's see what we can get done today. cruising right along with the progress on this project. We got the bridge set. We got all this done in here. Chris right now is working on our waterfalls up top. So we're just kind of looking for a just a nice simple sheet waterfall dumping out of the biofalls into a pooling area. And then we're going to have it kick back into this small pooling area down in here going underneath the bridge. So things are looking really good. I'm really pleased how everything is turning out. Tim, what do you think? What do you have to say about everything? This is going to be looking really nice. This is uh, by far one an amazing build and going to take some bits and pieces back to Florida and try to see if I can beat these guys at what they do. Cool. Let's get this water flowing. Yeah, the pond, we had to stop uh, filling the water because our water line right now is a little lower. We have to come up another foot and a half, or probably a foot, but we have our two-inch line coming from the biofalls. needs to get trenched right where the machine's at. And in order to do that, we have to get the machine out of here. So we have to kind of wait to raise water line until we get that pipe connected. So hopefully we can get that done today. Maybe, fingers crossed. Well, 
Mr. Danley. What well, do we got? Mr. P. What do we got going on this morning? Finishing up the pond. Got uh, the waterfalls tucked away yesterday almost. Got uh, just a couple edges left around here as you see. We really wanted to get these three steppers in to get a nice transition from their walkout basement. Oh, there. Just final touches right now, working our way out. Got a couple big rocks we got to set around the berm and hopefully we're out of here then today. So it looks really good. Did you want a detailed uh, explanation on how we did these steps and with the elevation and everything and what we had to deal with off the patio and matching it up with the bridge up top? Yeah, so using our zip level, we came off the front of the slab coming out of the basement just because it tapers down a little bit or slants down. So uh, we use that blocking. We do all of our walls into raise this piece right here. Same elevation as that slab. And then we just worked our way out, right? We knew our patio about two and a half inch blocks so uh, they come up to about here on this one and yeah just measured each individual one luckily we had a good selection out here so just wanted to use the blocks accordingly some of these are six and a half to eight inches so kind of mixed and matched them just to get that elevation right yeah it's looking really good we can come up top and show you guys the waterfalls these series of waterfalls we wanted it to keep super simple so we did a small little three inch drop out of the top waterfall and then off that smaller rock right there is going to be a nice horsetail waterfall coming off between those rocks so so it's looking really good. We got our bridge set in here. So it's gonna be a deep pooling area, good probably foot to 13 inches deep of water. We're doing really good. We're hoping to get everything uh, buttoned up today and we're gonna be out of here, so stay tuned. through our last day out on this project we got the thing basically buttoned up going through and uh doing a lot of the final touches around the edges but uh let me walk you guys through what we got done so far and show you a lot of the progress we made throughout this project really love the way this is turning out and i can't wait for the patio people hardscapers to come in and really put this project to bed so we got a couple more things i'll walk you guys through and let me just show you that real quick as you guys see the waterfall is complete we got a nice horsetails falls out of that bio fall 6000 we've been using a lot of moss just to get a lot of these little crevices here as you can see just throughout the pond around the underneath the bridge when we use those unilock blocks as you guys see in our walls just to cover up some of those exposed bricks throughout the bridge around here I managed to sneak in another little falls coming out here then trickling into the pond so a really cool shape and i know they're loving it from up top there the homeowner's office and their walkout basement so just a lot of different viewpoints which really highlights how cool this project's turning out to be on the back side of the berm as you can see the pond is right over here right behind the machine there another thing the homeowners really wanted to include was a planting area with raised planter beds so before they had a u-shape or a horseshoe made out of these basically in the same area i've drawn out here but we're gonna come in with some six by sixes treated timbers and make the area a lot bigger than what it was while these did work a lot of these cedar planks ended up rotting out a lot of it was kind of crumbling so this will give them a nice planting area on the back side of the pond also coming off the patio so it'll be a really cool place to grow their strawberries raspberries and blueberries all the different sort of things that they're growing out here. So we're gonna come back out, I think next week to finish that up. But right now I'm just getting the blueprints out. So that'll come in nicely and the homeowners get a better idea of uh, what they're gonna get. So I'm really excited for this part and stick around for that to uh, be built. <laughs> 